as we record this episode of Truby Cars, Ask the Expert, uh, it's the beginning of the school year. So we've got kids going to school, whether they're walking, riding a skateboard, or even riding their bikes. So whether or not you're a new driver or a seasoned driver, maybe even a parent of a driver, it's a good reminder here that let's take it easy before school, let's take it easy after school in those hours to make sure that the kids get to school and get home after school in a safe manner. So keeping your speeds reduced. So there's a lot of areas that have a reduced speed zone in the residential neighborhoods near school zones, um, 30 or 40 kilometers an hour depends on where you live. Uh, you're gonna see those posted limits. So don't push the envelope by exceeding it up there. You're gonna get where you need to go uh, soon enough, but don't rush it. Um, the kids are excited about going back to school, seeing some of their friends they haven't seen all summer. So they might be so excited that they're not watching to see if cars are coming. They see their friend across the street. They might even dart out between the parked vehicles. So who, here's a few tips for you. Other than keeping your speed down, expect the kids to be walking between parked cars. Uh, if you're near a playground area or a park area, maybe expect a few more kids to come darting out. Uh, keeping your speed reduced means that you can respond a lot quicker and you can stop much sooner. If there's no oncoming vehicles, move away from the parked vehicles a little bit more, perhaps driving closer to the center of the road. This will give you a better view in case someone is walking, including the smaller kids, between the vehicles. Uh, when you get up to the intersection, uh, sometimes they, these kids have been taught to wave the driver on, but make eye contact with them. If you happen to be driving a vehicle with tinted windows, it might be a good idea to roll your window down a little bit, so that way you know that the kids can actually see the direction you're looking. Making eye contact, if tinted windows and you're waving them on, they can't see this. So make sure that they can actually receive the communication that you're trying to send them. And be super patient. Uh, it's not just right after school, it's uh, maybe a couple hours after. Now, as far as the school buses go, make sure that you brush up on the laws of, of driving your school buses, but keep your eyes moving from side to side, looking for the yellow buses, uh, looking for the flashing amber lights at the top, telling you that they're about to slow down to uh, either pick up or drop off a passenger. So keep those things in mind too. If you happen to be um, dropping off someone at school, maybe drop them off where the school buses aren't. So they're gonna be busy, those school buses in those areas. So maybe just down the street from the school is a good idea. Maybe someplace where they don't have to cross the street, but away from the buses. And make that the designated pickup spot as well. So that way they don't have to clog the area where other people are trying to get on the buses. So being a smart driver when you're in the school zones and the playground areas, it means that we're a safer driver and it keeps the kids safe too.